better keep up with the action this year, we've added a new position around the Speedway. And Barney Hall from station WIFM in Elkin, North Carolina, is manning that spot. Barney? Thank you, Ted. It is a beautiful afternoon here in Daytona Beach. And the action will be fast and furious, and all that will be coming up very shortly, and we'll be right here on the second turn. A lot of folks wanted to hear rather than read, you know, what they did Sunday. They found out on the radio deal. It worked out pretty well, and it just kept growing by leaps and bounds. The pictures you're watching are live. Uh, there's some news from the pits. Let's go to Ken Squire. Five drivers have come out of a race with heating problems. The pit was Charlie Glock's back. Thanks to Barney Hall and Ken Squire, the moments and characters of NASCAR racing have been archived by two of the great storytellers. They are door to door in the dog leg. They touch coming to the trial down to the line. It is, I can't call that one, it is so close. Barney Hall began his career in radio. In 1960, he became the PA announcer at the Bristol Motor Speedway. With Motor Racing Network, Hall found a home painting portraits of the on-track race action. The field crosses the line. Again, Jeff Gordon leads him down to the inside. Goes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Had no drafting help for a minute. He is able to tuck back up in line. Ken Squire followed in his father's footsteps. The son of a Vermont radio station owner, Squire worked for the expansion of NASCAR through television and radio, matching a folksy yet informative commentary with his enthusiasm for racing. And there's a fight between Cale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. The tempers overflowing. Used to listen to the race on the radio at home. Why would you want to do something that you know darn well could turn around and bite you, could kill you? I never wanted to do anything else. <laughs> Squire and Hall are fixtures in NASCAR history. We cherish their storytelling craft.